Hey there, welcome to 5 Minute Friday. My name is John, I'm one of the pastors at Beautiful Savior Lutheran Church here in Happy Valley. And this is 5 Minute Friday, it's where we take just a few minutes to end our week in the Word of God. Uh, today, obviously, uh, we're a week away from Thanksgiving. And this is a wonderful gift from my mother-in-law. Thank you very much, Charlene, we appreciate you. Listen, as I was preparing for my message this week, I was looking at a Gallup study uh, it was from around 2000, and it said that 90, over 90% of people traveled to be with family or spent time with family for Thanksgiving. And then the pandemic hit, and fewer than 50% of people went to spend time with family. They just kind of stayed in their homes, right? Maybe that was your choice. I, the, the article suggested that people that they interviewed, the 2,000 folks that they talked to, said that many of those folks, the majority of those people, were planning to do the same thing again in coming years. Not go spend time with family, but to just stay kind of hunkered down in their own homes. You know, I think as Christians, that makes us think about, well, what's our responsibility to be in the mix here? How are we supposed to be bringing families and households and friends together? in times like Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Um, made me think about the Word of God from, I, I, it led me to Colossians chapter three, verse 17. It says, it says this, and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Thanks everything, do everything and giving thanks to God. You know, creating an atmosphere of comfortability and community and family is tough. I think we always worry about who we're gonna offend. I think it's tough because families are kinda of charged sometimes with some emotional baggage, right? But our job as Christians, a way we can provide leadership is by creating an environment that says, you're welcome to my home. You're loved by me and by God. You know, I was at a, a coffee shop this week. It's in Gladstone, and it's called Crossroads Cafe. And my first time in there, and it was different, right? Like, I, I walked inside, and I noticed some things about it. And I went up to the lady at the register and said, is this, is this a Christian coffee shop? And she goes, yeah, it is. Uh, are you OK with that? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a pastor. I'm fine. I said, it made me think, are you okay with that? They must get a lot of heat about that position that they're taking. I know the message of the gospel, the message of Christianity, the message of the church seems to be um, separating from people. And it seems to be condemning of many of the things of the world sometimes. And so I could see that they would be dealing sometimes, in, especially in our environment, with some hard conversations. But as I was talking to Bonnie, she shared her testimony with me about why she knew Jesus as her Savior. I was encouraged by that, but then as I sat in the store, in the shop, I noticed a sign on the wall, and I took a photo of it, and it says this. Christ offers forgiveness for everyone, everywhere. And I think that that's a way we can create conversations. That's a way we can let everybody know that you're welcome and there's a place for you. And you don't have to feel judged. You don't have to be condemned, especially in a coffee shop. She, Bonnie, was trying to create a hospitable environment. She was trying to create a place of joy, fireplace, comfy chairs, a place that could be like the living room of the community. And for me, she did it. So, if you're in the Gladstone area, go check out Crossroads Cafe. Um, tell them John sent you. That way you can give a little support too. But God bless you guys. Be a uniter in your thanksgiving. Give thanks to the Lord for all the blessings you've had and have a positive impact on your family and friends this season. God bless you and we'll see you next time.